I think about the gang and think about Dad Carter starting this group so long ago. I'm sure he never thought in his wildest dreams it would still be going on today. I don't mimic uh, Dad Carter. Uh, none of us mimic the, the, uh, the original gang, but we want to stay true to that style and to that tradition. It's very obvious that Shay is called to be there and this group is called to do what they do because when you sit in the audience and you listen to them, you sense the presence of what they're doing. You sense the presence of God. I got a call from my Uncle Roy Carter and uh, he was my grandmother's youngest brother. And he asked me, would I be interested in doing a little singing with the Chuck Wagon Gang? I was 22 years old. I knew that my grandmother had sung in the Chuck Wagon Gang and I'd seen the pictures and the videos, but I guess like any young person, hadn't really paid attention. But I loved to sing and when he called me, I said, sure, I'll come sing. I had no idea what I was getting involved in. was able to start singing alto, I began to really appreciate my grandmother in a different light because people would come up night after night and talk about her and say, well, you sound like her or you look like her. And it began every night, it meant a little more and it meant a little more and I began to really understand who she was and who the Chuck Wagon Gang was. She's always popping off the I ears, know it. aren't you? I know it. And, and sometimes, you know, it comes under. <laughs> Gets well, under your skin, your doesn't skin. it? <laughs> well, I'll tell well, you, you don't you, look old. Now, thank you, Mr. You don't. Thank you look good. Of that kind of monkey shines is that this is my big sister, and I, she loves me. I know it, and uh, uh, everybody loves it. Rose. Absolutely. Well, Sister Rose was the original soprano in the Chuck Wagon Gang, and I've always heard she's quite a character and uh, like to joke a lot. Short in stature, and she had these cat eye glasses that she would always wear when she would sing. That's the one. That's the world's greatest story, greatest story of all. In footage that I've uh, watched of her, she would, she would get up on her toes when she would go to sing the high part sometimes, so it's kind of neat to watch her do that, but that's the part that I sing as a soprano. You do have a great touch on that Gibson, right. and uh, you just seem to know what to do and exactly when to do it, and right. without it, I doubt they could sing. You know, I don't believe the goodies. <laughs> One of the things that sets the Chuck Wagon Gang apart from, from so many other groups, at least in, in gospel music, is the fact that they use a guitar, where so many, um, and traditionally in southern gospel, um, they use piano as backup. You know when you hear something like... Well, that's Johnny Cash, Hey Porter. There's many, many signature sounds in music like that that when you immediately hear them, you know. When you hear this, there's no question that's the Chuck Wagon Gang. Ernest Carter, whose uh, radio name was Jim, he's known as Jim, he was one of the brothers. Uh, he sang bass and played the acoustic guitar in the early days. He's the one that created that, and I'm sure that there was no thought given to it they needed the key, they needed to hear the chord, so he gave them the chord and they started singing and he backed them up. When he retired from the group in the early 1950s, Anna's husband, Howard, started playing the guitar for the group. One of the finest, uh, I say it has one of the greatest touches on a guitar of any man I've ever heard. I appreciate that, Mr. Doyne. Howard, do. you do have, and I'm that's not kidding good. you, and that's not applesauce. That makes me feel good. And he retained some of the same type of sound and, and style, especially with the strum at the beginning. He always had an E-flat chord that he would make, a full E-flat chord like this. Jesus, Lord and Savior, how we need you now.
We hope you've enjoyed this video from New Haven Collections. For more videos like this, you can check out their website by clicking the box above. Also be sure to check out the fun, frivolity, and music on Wilson Fairchild's YouTube channel. They're also a part of our YouTube community. Plus, you can see some of your favorite shows in their entirety at www.countryroadtv.com. Thanks for watching.